Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Kirstie Alley is here talking about looking for love and her recent weight loss. Plus, the cat fight continues. Is Katy Perry planning to get revenge on Taylor Swift during her Super Bowl performance? And all the latest juicy hot topics. Now, here's Wendy. I said it's Friday, the weekend is here. Let's get started, it's time for Hot Topic. I can't disappoint at all with that cheer. <laughs> Start throwing tomatoes. Okay, so Katy Perry's 30, Taylor Swift is 24. Now you know Katy is gonna be at the Super Bowl for the halftime show, okay? Yeah. Um, now these two girls have been going through a battle that I wish would just stop and because Katy's older, I'm taking it upon her to you know, woman up and leave this alone. Okay, remember when I was telling you that they, that um, Katie reportedly stole Taylor's background dancers? Yeah. Okay, oh, you do remember that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, Katie was seeing a DJ Diplo at one point and Diplo got on social media and told, you know, said that Taylor needs to buy a booty or, or something to that effect. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, then, then Katie is reportedly con gonna concoct this plan to uh, diss Taylor during the Super Bowl halftime show. Ooh. And I see, my thought is, why would you take a platform like the Super Bowl, even though it's good for my business, <laughs> you know, we'll have something to talk about, but why would you take such a great platform like doing halftime at the Super Bowl? I mean, that's a big deal, you know? And, and even waste time talking about, you know, Taylor Swift or trying to diss her or something like that. Like, when you don't like somebody, pay them dust. Yeah. And that, right? At least, that's my approach to not liking somebody, you know? Um, now, they both dated John Mayer. Yes, exactly. Now, John is allegedly back with Katie. So maybe the diss might be something like halftime at the Super Bowl, John comes out with, you know, Katie to do, we, um, to do, uh, like, shake it off or, you know, do it like a Taylor song. You know, maybe, maybe. But I gotta tell you something, and I know this Taylor Swift is having her moment right now, and it's terrific for her. The world is revolving around Taylor and her music. But Katie, you've been there, you've done that, and you're still doing it. Now, let me just run down um, these girls, you know, uh, comparing them. Okay, Taylor has seven Grammys. Katie has none. Oh. I know! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not finished. Okay, okay. Taylor has 50 million, dollar, uh, 50 million uh, Twitter followers. Katie has 62.9. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, and social media, I guess that matters. So, so far, Taylor is winning, or um, Katie is winning, because she's got the Grammys and she's got the Twitter followers. Um, even though right now, it's a Taylor world. Um, who's prettier? Yeah. Okay, wait, whoa, whoa, now, now see. <laughs> Okay, you know, 
You know, here at the show, we do a clapation poll. So now, who thinks Katie's prettier? Clap. <laughs> who thinks Taylor's prettier? Clap. It looks like Katie won by a slim one. I can't picture which one's prettier. I think, I think that they're both good looking, um, but Taylor has never performed at a Super Bowl halftime. I know. So Katie, you are winning. Leave this girl alone. And just l listen. There are plenty of people through the years that I've had falling outs with or whatever, and we don't get along. But you know what? I act like they're invisible, you know? And I definitely, like, if I walk into a cocktail party and one of my enemies is there, I'm not leaving. You know, if anything, it'll make me twirl a little harder. Uh, number one. And, but you act like they don't even exist. Don't even try to talk to them, kill them with kindness or anything like that, and just give them the stare. You know the stare. Yeah, well, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so say I walk into the party and I see you and you're my enemy. <laughs> see? Just, just, just a stare. <laughs> Anyway, uh, good luck, girls. I wish you both would just leave this alone. You're both winning in our world. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm Cleo the psychic or anything like that. All I'm saying is that over the years, there have been a lot of things that have happened on this show from my mouth that have actually come true. Like Rosie being on The View. Yeah. Just, you know, one example. Um, With that in mind, Pitbull has his eyes set on a new woman. Guess who? Jennifer Lopez. I know. I, I love them in my mind as a couple. I love them. And when Jen was here the last time, if you were watching that show, I told her, I said, you know, I think that it, it always looks like you and Pitbull have had something going on. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, look at that. Look, look. <laughs> Right? She is on top of the situation. Well, reportedly Pitbull has had a crush on Jennifer for years, but didn't want to act on it because she wasn't single. But now that she's single, he's ready to make his move. He feels like in addition to liking her and everything, he feels like they would be the new, like, Brangelina, or maybe like Jay-Z and Beyonce or something like that. I say, this is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, she's always said she loved, well, she'll be here in a few weeks, so I'm gonna try to make this happen. Yeah. Guadalupe, I know you're watching, just, you know, and if you can assist me in making this happen, it'd be terrific, just to see where it goes with these two. Listen, she's 44 years old. We know that she adores a younger man. He's a younger man, he's 33 years old. Now, 33 is young and 44 is a little old to be having more kids, but he doesn't need more kids. Reports are saying he has six. <laughs> you, can't, you can't even clap with that, can you? You're like, what? All right, well, some reports are saying that he only is four, but, but we'll go with six, just in case there are six. We don't want the other two to feel, you know, feel left out. Look, I don't know who the baby's moms are, but apparently, you know, Armando, uh, I know, Pitbull, Armando. <laughs> apparently, he's taking care of everyone very well because no one talks to Life & Style Weekly, the National Enquirer, or whatever. You know, that, that's what a man does. You take care of your business before your business takes care of you. Jen's got two children already. She doesn't need any more children. I just think that this would be great. They could tour together. The love would be spicy, right? <laughs> They'd be a Latin power couple. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do we have a Latin power couple? No, Sofia Vergara, she's marrying a gringo. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. A hot gringo, but a gringo, <laughs> you know? I love it. And 
he smells so good. Like when you hug him, he smells, I've hugged him. He smells so good. And he looks so good in a suit and sunglasses. You know, and he, he can pay his own, he can pay for dinner. You know, I, I know um, like, like Patty Stanger has said in the past that you know, um, you don't date down, you date up. And she's also said about um, Jen that Jen leads with her privates. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, in other words, you know, always looking for love and like that, but you know, she's standing in her truth. I, Jen, can you please lead your privates to Pitbull? <laughs> please. So good, so good. Cause here's another thing that I talked about here. Just why just the other day I was saying, George and Amal won't last. Oh. Do you remember? Yeah. A lot of you were hating on me on Facebook. That's okay. But guess what the word on the street is? No. The marriage is already in trouble. No. I just found that out this morning and I was like, wow. No. Me and my executive producer, David Perler, we predicted this. Oh. And so, okay, Amal, who's a top attorney and very highly educated. You know, there's, there's education. You know, like Gina Davis is in Mensa. Those are the genius people. But she's a fun girl. You know what I mean? There's education and then there are people who are so educated that they're not fun and they don't know how to have a sense of humor and a stick in the mud. Like, I, I just can't, I can't with that. So apparently she can't with him because <laughs> She reportedly is getting sick and tired of George's Hollywood friends and Hollywood scenes, and they, um, she feels that it's all beneath her. Oh. Well, as smart as you might be, Amal, apparently you've got no street smarts. <laughs> you know, it's a book smart thing. I mean, why would you accept his ring? Uh, you saw the lifestyle, oh, I know, you were seduced. You were seduced by the, the Prada and the Gucci and the diamonds, and, and you were, and, he, and he's fine, <laughs> but, and he's fine. Uh, and so, but the ether is worn off now. You know, Jonah Hill is one of George's best friends. It's like, you know, when you first meet Jonah Hill, I guess, you know, he comes to the house, she's probably like, oh my God, it's Jonah Hill. You know what I mean? Like she's used to uh, the banking or the, the, the lawyer world. She's not used to the celebrity world where, you know, celebs just drop by and sit on the couch, you know, and you make the wings for the guys. When the guys come over, do you make wings for them? I, I'm a wing maker. Like, I, I, I'll make the snacks. I have no problem doing that. You know, I, I like a normal life at home, you know, and for me, that's normal. To, I don't feel as though it's beneath me. But anyway, back to them all. So look, apparently, you know, he's tired of, um, she's also tired of George's friends tagging along on their vacations. Well, I'd be tired of that too. There's Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber <laughs> and, and Amal and uh, George, and they're all on vacation at a time where they just got married in September. Aren't they supposed to be glowing and in the honeymoon phase? Yeah. I have never, nor will I ever, go on a vacation with another couple. Let me tell you why. And we know some nice couples, but I don't want a vacation with you. You know why? Because I work too hard to have to continue being forced to have guarded conversation while I'm on vacation. I work like I work too hard. I don't care if we go on vacation on separate flights and you stay down the street at another hotel. I still don't want you to be there. I, um, do, clap if you're like me, you don't want a vacation with anybody but you. Yeah! Yeah. Anyway, you know, Amal, you should have thought about that before you accepted the ring, number one. And George, number two, um, you know, he fashions himself in my mind as some sort of politician. He's always going to Washington to complain about something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and he probably liked dating a very, very smart woman, but even after a while, you know, that wears off and you just, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So like I told you earlier this week, I give this marriage, well, the, t the clock is now ticking. <laughs> That's all, we can move along.
okay. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't clap for so long. It's only a one hour show. <laughs> I'm playing. Let your freak flag fry, fly. Um, okay, look, um, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, everybody, is always showing us exactly how rich he is. Oh. Well, well, well he, yes, he is rich, sir, I know. <laughs> if, if you've ever seen him on social media, he's taken pictures with wads, you know, stacks of $100 bills, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, you know, the trappings of being rich. Well, look at what he posted recently, his car collection on Instagram, okay. <gasps> Do you see? There are a couple of cars on this side too. You can't see them. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what you're looking at and then I'll give you my opinion. I always do. All right. There's a $300,000 Ferrari and then there is a $200,000 Porsche, a $450,000 Lamborghini, two more $300,000 Ferraris, a $45 million jet, three $2.2 million Bugattis, and that's a total of $52 million sitting in front of you. I love my people. Cause you know this is a my people thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, you, this is very black. <laughs> I mean, you know, I have my black ways too, but, but I, don't, I wouldn't put them on Instagram, you know, intentionally. Like if you happen to see me driving or, or flying, or, no, I don't have a jet, but I'm just saying. <laughs> If you see me driving my jet, you know, you could take a picture, but I'm not putting it on my own Instagram. It's corny. Um, I, I think it's, but then again, his middle name is Money, you know, as in Floyd, Money Mayweather. He probably got teased a lot because his name is Floyd. He's also a really little man and he probably got picked on and wedgies and his lunch money stolen. <laughs> No, 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 I'm trying to, in my mind, I'm trying to, and I have nothing against Floyd. You know, as a matter of fact, I can't wait for you to sign the papers to fight Manny Pacquiao so I can get my tickets to see you win. But, like, like I have nothing against Floyd, but in my opinion, I feel like he's going so hard showing us how much money he has because all of his life, up until he learned to box and started winning, he was probably picked on something awful, you know? Be yeah, oh little man, you do you. See what the, see what the fight. <laughs> okay, so. Reese Witherspoon. Is she really? <laughs> they said, oh. <laughs> she really wants to focus on her career. But her husband Jim has other plans. He wants another baby. And Reese thinks, no, no, not now, the time is not right. You know, her career went up and then it started to go down and then it dipped back up when she, she wrote Gone Girl? She produced Gone Girl. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she might get an Oscar, you know, uh, her, yeah. We like, we like Reese. She's got a lot of things happening. You know, she might get that other Oscar. You know, she's on the tip of everyone's lips again. Look, we're talking about her again. So she wants to capitalize on this and get back in the game and do it big. In the meantime, she is 38 years old and um, she already has two kids with her ex-husband, Ryan. And uh, one, yeah, with Ryan. Remember when they were together? Yeah. 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 And it was really hard for her to get over him. You know, divorce is never easy and everything. I guess, you know, she, she was kind of bummed for a moment. Anyway, everything is sunshiny now. She's got one child with Jim and two with Ryan and he wants a second child. Well, for the first, you know what? I told you I'm working on my black and white because I think everything is black or white. I have no gray area. And I told you for 2015, that's, I'm trying to get a gray area. Well, I think I found one. 
in this problem right here. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, no, I think I have. Because you know, on one hand, on one hand, I feel like um, 38, she should you know, have the baby and then get right back into acting. You know what I mean? Um, being pregnant, is not marketable, even when you're Reese Witherspoon. You know, you, you can't show up pregnant. Um, she doesn't know whether she'll be able to get pregnant at 40. Besides, since when do we just treat pregnancy so cavalierly? It's dangerous to be pregnant in your 40s. Like, if you can get pregnant at 38 as opposed to 40, do it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but it has been done, you know? And she can have her eggs frozen. Like, to me, here's the compromise. All right, freeze your eggs tomorrow, Reese. But wait, tomorrow's Saturday, the office will be closed. Monday morning, look. Freeze your eggs first thing Monday morning. Freeze a lot of them, you know, because they, the, eggs, the eggs don't always take, you know, they tell you the eggs don't always take. And the older, I guess your womb is, the more slippery it is, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, look. And then, and then go to the Oscars, get your award, because you know you're probably going to get one, and ask him to give you a year and get pregnant at 39. You know what I mean? Just, just a year. And in that year's time, choose your pro uh, projects really care. Oh gosh, I don't know what to say to these people, but I sit here, so I have to say something. Yeah. Reese, this is a real pickle. Oh, anyway, now you can clap. <laughs>